Hello guys and this is the 14th tutorial of the series and today I'm going to be going over Matini I'm going to explain what it is, I'm going to show you how to use it I'm go and today I'm going to go over using anim sets in Matini and movement tracks to get things moving with triggers and kismet so I'm just going to make open up a a uh, quick map that I made previously which is just a let's see if I can find it there we go let's give it a second to load here and all it is really is a little room and a platform and some like pillars of yeah that's how I would describe it best as you'll see here so as you see in these in the this little four these four pillars here I'm going to make a little platform that the user can control like make it go up or down to go up to like a different area which will be here so I'm just going to make a platform quickly that the player will will go on so let's find I don't know floor and then go to static meshes I'm sorry UDK is like somewhat frozen okay there we go see if we can find a reasonable one that I could use I can't use either of these two seeing as they don't have a bottom side you know I have an idea I'm just gonna go use a chain fence that we have here <coughs> so when you're working with Matini you do not want to just drag and drop it in you want to right click and then wait, just double click on it to load it quickly get rid of that little icon there and then right click add interp actor which means you can interpret it and use it however you want in Matini <clears throat> sorry I've got a really sore throat right now so I'm just gonna go put this down on the ground quickly so while I do that you might want to quickly open up uh, Kismet then move, I'm just gonna move this into place and move it down to the ground <clears throat> okay now we have that done just go to once you got Kismet open press new Matini and then you'll get this little Matini box and the Matini data which you'll be able to edit in the Matini editor which looks like this basically it's a time it's a uh, timeline based editing uh, system so you want to go to so first of all I'm going to make this thing this um object move up to here just so it'll take the player up here then I will show you the basics of animating uh customized AI etc that you've rigged already and put into the game or just a standard skeletal mesh preset that comes with UDK. So you want to go new group and then this will be called uh for example platform one. Then you want to right click I'm just going to go over a couple of the important ones here. Uh, the new different types of tracks, soundtracks, so you can play sounds at um, specific times. Uh, you want and uh, visibility track. You can toggle whether or not an object is visible to the user. Uh, particle replay tracks, which is which basically play, plays particle systems, which I'll show in a later tutorial. Movement tracks, which I'll be using to move this. Uh, fence up and down and then there's anim control track which will allow you to uh, move skeletal meshes around move uh, certain parts with uh, anim sets so I'm just gonna make a movement track for now so you still see you've got this little thing here so to start it off you want to move it when it starts 
um, timing. So if you want it to start at one time, just move over to uh, one second. You start over to one second. Let's put that. You're not. Don't really need to, don't really need to worry about that too much. It's gonna leave it there. And then press enter to make another one of those. So let's say it's going to take three seconds for this movement track to uh, go up. So, yeah. Click on that and you'll see down here adjust key movement. So, we, once you've checked on the second thing, you want to move it up to the designate uh, target location of where you want it to go which will be there so once you've done that you want to just press stop quickly to make it go back to the start and press play just to make sure it goes up as you'll see it does also if you're doing relatively long um, animations you want to change the finish time over here which is the one in red you don't need to press control or anything and then you can just drag that to when the animation finishes which is when the animation will reset which I'll show you how to uh, reset it and start over once it's completed seeing as it only lasts 4 seconds I will give it 6 seconds so the player has 2 seconds to get off the platform and do whatever he wants Okay, when you've done that, get uh, Kismet back up, and you want to make a new trigger. So add actor, and then trigger. And then once you've got that selected, sorry about that, make sure it's selected. And then new event using trigger touched or used. You're going to want it touched so they can choose when they want to do it, not just simply walking onto it. Okay so and then press use go to play so when they press E on the trigger it will fire, it will fire it off and then so it's a completed reverse which will make it reset so it will come back down but if you put completed to reverse and play it it will just loop the animation that you've made in Matini so let's just I'm just gonna increase the size of this trigger quickly or you can just go here and then change the interaction uh, interact distance you don't really need to go over that and then I'm going to move it up a bit you can put a switch or something on the wall if you really must okay just move over here press E I'm sorry, I've made it too high. It's gonna put it down on the ground quickly. Also, with triggers, you want to uncheck aim to interact, which because like most of the time, you will fail to be able to use it. Also, you go, I'm going to make a output object comment on screen and platform moving. Just so I know when I have fired, when the trigger has fired off, and you'll also get this little name plate above there. Let's press play. Okay, and you'll see the little platform moving thing. But since it's an interpreter, actor, it has no collision as default, <coughs> so it will not take you up. So you want to right click, go to interpret uh, properties. And under the collision bit, you just want to expand that, and then change block all. So when you're doing this, make sure you have a collision model if you've if it's a preset model that you have made already. So once you press play and E, and it will take you up here. And there we go. So now I'm going to show you how to animate a skeletal mesh with an anim set preset that comes with UDK you can find those really easily in the content browser but first of all I'm just going to add a new Matini <coughs> and this one's going to be for the skeletal mesh 
so this one I'm going to event and then level loaded so the character that I'm going to be moving around will fire off as soon as the level starts okay so go find yourself a skeletal mesh in the in the um, content browser get rid of that all assets and then find the one that you want to animate so here we have this one I'm going to make him just a slight bit bigger so you can see him the like the rigging will check uh, will scale as you scale the object that you're working on here because the bones are still in him not actual bones but yeah you get the general idea so what once you click on here oh, sorry about that okay and then you want to go new new empty group and you want to call this uh, friendly AI or you can call it whatever you want I'm just doing that so I can as you'll see in the group and in sets you want to press the little green button down there at which is add new item and then here you want to go find your anim set. They can be found easily. Just go to anim sets and you have a couple of presets. You want to let's find K anim human base male, which is here, which is just the default one for this character. It's got a few animations, I'll show you how to uh, test out the ones that come with that. But if you're making your own, you should know what's in there. So just press this button here, assign from content browser, and it'll go straight in. Okay, so for skeletal meshes, you want to right, uh, once you get here, you want to right click, new anim control track, and press enter. And then you can choose out of all of these animations. If you're going to make your own anim set, you have to worry about making each and every one of these. You don't need to do all the hoverboard ones and all the vehicle ones. You can, you want to make them custom to your vehicles, etc. So just for now, I am going to quickly find a human male idol, which and you'll see. Press OK. Uh, your character will be t will be turned for some reason. You can just rotate him around, but I'm not gonna uh, bother doing that for now. So press stop and play. You will see his arms move, etc. And he the animation will stop when it gets to the red line. I just scroll out quickly, and he will stop here. So let's just grab this quickly and then scale it down I want him to be doing that for about two seconds which will allow the player to load okay once you've done that you're going to want to add another animation so this time I'm going to make him walk you know what? I'm gonna make him run you know, sort of run yep run forward with rifle or run for uh, yeah, you can change. There's different animations for how you want them to run. So once you've got that, just drag it over. Con you got to control and drag with that, and then just place it in. You don't want to. Uh, lend you don't want to scale animations like these by much because they will slow down. So you don't want to. So you don't want to worry about that. And if you're going to be running, you want to be making a movement track for him. So let's add movement track. So you've got, first of all, you've got him there. And then at the end, you're going to want him there. Your running starts about there as well. And as you'll see, it's a bit like layers or whatever you want to call it here. So you want to work with what you've done previously up here and get a general idea so let's see I want him to run to about here yeah that's far enough okay and then press stop and it'll go back to the start 
press play, he'll stand normally for a while, then he'll start running. So, let's say you want to trigger that off, and then completed reverse, he'll walk backwards, bear that in mind. So, if you want to do that, if you want to do one where he'll walk backwards, you want to do that in Matini separately. So, let's press play. And there you have it. You'll see he stood, he stood normally for a second, and then he started running. Yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. And uh, in the later ones, uh, the next tutorial, I'm going to show you cin cinematics, which will cover moving the camera around, making intros, etc., with Unreal Development Kit. So you can have some nice graph, uh, tra so you can make trailers, etc. So yeah, good luck, have fun, like, rate, comment and subscribe, thanks for watching.